New Honda Pilot 2023, the most powerful Honda SUV ever made. The brand new Trailsport trim offers an off-road aspect to the fourth-generation Honda Pilot. 2023 Honda Pilot introduces the fourth generation of its midsize SUV. The most powerful Honda SUV to date, 3.5-liter V6 engine with 285 horsepower as well as 262 pounds of torque. Trailsport is an off-road sport that focuses on Trailsport is back with more capabilities. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. After a myriad of teasers, the brand new 2023 Honda Pilot has been revealed as the company's biggest and most powerful SUV to date. The fourth generation model is the first to debut with a brand new look, but it is also a part of the Honda range's transition towards a more premium direction. It also comes with new technology, ample seating that can accommodate up to eight people as well as new innovations in the powertrain which are ideal to take on the world-class Hyundai Palisade. The new Honda light truck design will be used to underpin the new Passport models as well as Ridgeline models in the future the 2023 Pilot is more spacious than the 3-row SUV that it replaces. Honda has made up for the increased dimensions by introducing the most powerful engine. Honda claims that its 3.5-liter V6 is all-new, with the equivalent of 285 horsepower and 262 pounds of torque to make it Honda's most powerful SUV built. This extra power might prove useful given the larger dimensions. New Pilot is 3.4 inches bigger than its predecessor's 199.9 inches, and has a 2.8 inch larger wheelbase than it did before with 113.8 inches. While we're still not sure the weight of the car but it's likely that it'll weigh more than the version it replaces. The engine transfers force to either front or an all-wheel drive setup through an automatic transmission with 10 speeds. This AWD method, the Honda i VM4 setup is standard on Trailsport as well as Elite models and available on other models and comes with a rear differential that has a 40% more capacity of torque and 30% faster reaction times. Additionally the system is able to distribute up 70% of the engine's torque on the back axle, and as much as 100% to either side of the axle for improved torque vectoring. With AWD equipped, the Pilot comes with a towing capacity of 5,500 pounds, using a new mode for tow driving. The latter is supported by normal, econ, snow and a new sport mode. AWD models are equipped with sand and trail modes. In the Pilot lineup in 2022 the Trailsport name will be back in 2023 with an off-road focused model that is similar in appearance to wilderness variant of the Subaru Outback, or perhaps more pertinently, the rugged Kia Telluride X-Pro, which is among the Pilot's most formidable rivals. The suspension tuned for off-roading has an increase of 1 inch for more ground clearance, and also enhanced departure, approach, brakes over, and approach angles. The Tough Pilot also features specific stabilizer bars to give you better off-road articulation and comfort. Unique styling features for the Trailsport that is 0.3 inches larger and an inch higher than the other variants. These include skid plates that protect the transmission from being pushed over stones and trim-specific 18-inch wheels that are shod with Continental Terrain Contact All-Terrain tires with two 6560 profiles. Other highlights of the visual are unique trim diffused sky blue paint and an expansive sunroof. Inside the cabin, orange contrast stitching and embroidery Trailsport logos mark the model. Trail Torque Logic combines brake and torque vectoring based on differentials to increase the amount of traction available when any of the wheels fail to lose contact with the ground. Redirecting as much as 75% possible torque towards the wheels with the greatest traction. The Trail Watch camera system uses four cameras on the outside to assist to navigate difficult trails. The technical highlights of the entire pilot family include increased stiffness. This includes vertical stiffness increasing by 8%, the rear's longitudinal stiffness increasing by 29%, and the stiffness of the roll-up by 12%. 
These enhancements allowed Honda to adjust the suspension to provide greater peace of mind and comfort, while the longer track front and rear improve stability. The power of the stopper has also been increased due to the larger diameter front brakes that measure 13.8 inches, up from 12.6, with bigger calipers. When things get rough, the standard hill descent control is available on all models to help to navigate slippery slopes that have gradients of greater than 7%. The pilot range is more robust than ever before and is based on a sleek, modern style that is inspired by the latest CRV. The radiator grille that is upright can be seen flanked by two headlights that are angular. Honda claims that the hood's extended design and the A-pillars that are pulled back have given it an attractive appearance. On the back there are new LED tail lights as well as a colored body spoiler for the roof. Five trim levels will be available, each with different features and equipment levels. The sport models, for instance, include blacked-out exterior style elements the EXL substitutes this with chrome and has a distinct grille style. The wheel sizes vary from 18 inches on EXL as well as Trailsport variants, to 20 inches for the Sport, Touring, and Elite. Customers can also choose to outfit with the 2023 Pilot with additional packages that include the Honda Performance Development HPD, package that includes the bronze color wheels HPD labels, and flares for the fender. Inside, the cabin follows the style of the most recent Civic and the recently introduced CRV. Honda says the 2023 Pilot is the most stylish Honda SUV to date, however the most notable feature is the increased interior space. Thanks to the wider wheelbase and the larger dimensions of the exterior the second row's legroom has grown by 2.4 inches, while the third row is gaining 0.6 inches. The seats in the second row can be reclined by 10 degrees. They also have an expanded tilt-forward range which allows for easier accessibility to third-row seats. Front passengers won't be forgotten as well with the introduction of the front seats with body-stabilizing features, which are claimed to ease fatigue during longer trips. The Pilot remains in its eight-seater configuration but now more practical due to the removable second-row middle seat. It can be stored in the back of the floor and is able to be added at any time the need for an additional seat arises. Space for cargo has been upgraded and can now accommodate the capacity of 113.7 cubic feet of space in the row behind. Take advantage of every seat as well as 22.4 cubic feet of space remaining available. In the interior, 14 cup holders are available. Highlights of the features include leather seats in the EXL model with ventilation, and a heated steering wheel that was added in the Elite model. Screen space is essential for this segment and the Pilot offers a standard 7-inch digital driver screen and an infotainment touchscreen that measures 7 inches. Both screens are able to be expanded to increase the size, with the first increasing by 10.2 inches for the Elite trim, which comes with an up-facing display and the infotainment display measures 9 inches in all except models that are the basic model. Both models come with the standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, wireless on the bigger screen. The sound system has also been upgraded with Touring or Elite models, which have Bose's 12-speaker sound system and an 15.7-liter subwoofer enclosure. Pricing for the new model isn't yet available but it will be revealed prior to the model's arrival in showrooms later in the year. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.